Hey everybody, student dentist Gibby, my name is Jared. This is part one of my six part DAT series. Uh, today we're going to talk about the DAT, I'm going to introduce it, talk about the different sections, the score, um, and everything about the DAT, so stay tuned. Okay, for those of you who are applying to dental school or who want to become a dentist, one of the biggest things you need to do is take the dental admissions test, the DAT. This test is required for every dental school in the United States. It's created by the American Dental Association, the ADA. Um, so a lot of people ask me, you know, what is on the DAT or the DAT? The DAT is broken down into four sections. There's the, the first section is the survey of the natural sciences. You have biology, gen chem, o chem. Um, the second section is perceptual ability. Third section is the reading comprehension. And the fourth is quantitative reasoning. Now I'm going to talk about each one of those sections. So the first one, the, the survey of natural sciences, sciences, it's 100 questions and you have an hour and a half. You have 40 biology questions, 30 gen chem, and 30 o chem. So that's all you're tested on in the science part. <clears throat> the next section is perceptual ability. You have one hour for 90 questions. And the different things you're tested on perceptual ability are, um, there's six things. There's keyhole punch, top front end, angle ranking, cube counting, hole punch, and powder folding. Um, so you're going to want to get practice in each one of those. That's what's tested on the PAT, the perceptual ability part. Then you have a 15 minute break in the middle of your test, followed by the reading comprehension part. The reading comp part is one hour for 50 questions. Yeah, 50 questions. Um, and you're given three passages. Generally, they're science related. So that comes down to about 20 minutes per passage. The last section is the quantitative reasoning section, 45 minutes long for 40 questions. You're tested on pretty much everything you learned back in junior high and high school, algebra, geometry, trig, word problems, you know, stuff like that. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is, the last thing I want to talk about is the scoring of the DAT. The scores based off a scale of 1 to 30. Um, and they score each section of your test. And they break down the sciences, biology, they give you a score, and they give you a score for Gen Chem and O Chem. Um, now the national average on the test is a 17. The accepting average is a 21. Um, now that number I'm talking about, like 21, that's the academic average. It's the average of all of the all of the sections except for the PAT section. Um, so the academic average is a score that's really the most important. Um, and there's another score, the total sciences, and that just gives you the average of the sciences. But you really want to get a high academic average um, because the higher you get, the greater your chances it is to get into dental school. So that's what the data is all about. If you have any questions, please comment below, let me know, um, and stay tuned for part two, where I talk about when is a good time to take the debt. So thank you for watching, and have a good day, guys. See ya.